Inspector. Please tell me nothing. I prefer to investigate the scene of the crime spontaneously. That way it gives my trained instincts full reign, you know? But our security measures... Are... I'm sure your security measures are very good, but <laughs> obviously not good enough. Now let me see. Hello? Go away! Jane, are you in there? Yes, it's us. Open up. Why the hell do you care? Come on, we just want to check up on you. Oh, how very kind of you to welcome me. Bonjour, Pierce. But you're just here to gloat, aren't you? Actually, no. I brought you this. I always eat sun nectar whenever I'm depressed. Although in America it is ridiculously expensive. Between this and no health care, I don't know why I moved here. Oh! Oh! No! I should have known you'd be too weak. Sorry. You know what? It's actually fine. You are right. I am weak. Stop! You're not weak. There are many things, but weak is not one of them. Blanche is right. Well, yeah, you know what? I really do know what I am. I'm a talentless hack who thought she was all that, but really was just... I was deluding myself. What? Yes. You're not helping me. You're not even letting me finish. I think what Blanche was trying to say is that even though the person you looked up to criticized you, it doesn't mean that you should just give up. That's not what I was saying, but okay. Well, that's just it. I mean, Jack Conway, he was right. I read and reread the script, and everything he said was true. Even if it was, it doesn't mean you can't fix it. Well, I have tried. Okay, I, I've i tried and I don't know how. I don't even know where to begin. I'm, I'm an awful writer. And I always have been and no one has ever said anything to me j until just now. I mean, I mean, this was going to be my career. I, if I can finish what I was saying before I was interrupted, yes, it's true, you're a shit writer. Blanche! Oh my god, shut up, Latimer. Anyway, I think once you stop feeling sorry for yourself, this experience will be good for you. You think this will be good for me? You want to explain how my life completely falling apart is good for me? Well, think about it. Before, you were living in a cloud of delusion. And now you're here in reality with the rest of us. Now you can do whatever it was you were actually meant to do because writing was never going to be it and now you can move on. Also, no offense, but you've been really full of yourself and like I said, you needed a reality check and to become a more humble person. You're saying what? I'm not allowed to be confident? You were never confident to begin with and you know it. You know, I really don't know what to believe anymore. Look, I, I don't want to tell you what to do, but doing this play was the best thing that's ever happened to me. And like, I, I don't want to just go back to my old life. I know I'm not a good actor, but I'm taking acting classes now because I love doing this. You opened up a whole new world for me. He did. So what if your play turned out to be totally awful? <laughs> it wasn't completely pointless. I still want to do it. Yeah, well, I really don't. I think you should look at it from a different angle. Listen, you guys, this is nice of you all to come over, I guess, but you, I really don't want to do any more of this play. I'm sorry for you guys losing the part or whatever, but I'm sure that you'll get others in better plays with better roles, and then soon you'll forget all about me and move on. It's gonna take a while for you to stop feeling sorry for yourself, isn't it? You know what, Blanche? How about you have your idol tell you that you're a worthless piece of garbage and have your entire worldview shifted upside down? Already did that. What? Why do you think I moved here in the first place? I couldn't make it as an actor back home. The theater community there is very small and a famous director I love turned me to pieces in front of everyone at an open audition. Yikes. Yeah, it was humiliating. So I ran away. I was gonna give up acting entirely actually, but when I read on the diner flyer about the LGBT actors group, I thought I would come and see if anything useful could help me and voila, here I am. Here you are in an awful play. Yes, but doing this reminded me why I love acting in the first place. Even if I might never be famous and that I'm good at it. And it gave me confidence again. You did that. So, 
<clears throat> your play, even if it was ridiculous and terribly written, did accomplish something important, for me at least. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying. You brought us all together. Yeah, I mean, despite your own um, limited writing skills, you still have really good taste. And you found all of us, granted through unorthodox means, but, but still, you did it. And you actually raised a lot of money, considering. I agree. It's honestly amazing your play got as far as it did. You are resourceful. <laughs> I mean, it was all for nothing, though. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. I totally made a big fool of myself. <laughs> oh, do you think just a few weeks ago you were crowing about how you were the greatest? You were swinging so much in the opposite direction. Maybe you need to go to a therapist. A therapist? Yes. <laughs> okay, I do not need a therapist. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, uh, Chloe, she doesn't like it when people um, smoke. Just that she'll be coming back, even if I'm not, um... I'm sorry. Mm. Um, listen, it was really nice of you guys to come over, um, but I have a lot to think about. Of course. Um, call us if you need anything. Don't be a stranger, JM knows. <laughs> 